Imagine being rushed to the hospital due to chest pain, and as it turns out, it wasn't a heart attack. After a few months, you return with complaints of brain fog, muscle weakness, and distressed gut, and fatigue keeps bothering you. What could it be? It looks like vitamin B1, or thiamine deficiency. Vitamin B1 deficiency is quite hard to diagnose, however, you can always watch out for the symptoms that keep reoccurring. In today's video, we'll discuss the 8 signs you are deficient in vitamin B1. Number 1. Have you lost your appetite? Those with vitamin B1 or thiamine insufficiency are more likely to experience a significant loss in their appetite. Over time, this can lead to eating disorders and unintentional weight loss. Non-willingness to eat may be less noticeable at first, and you might be able to blame it on your previous meal, thinking it may have been too heavy. But mind you, if this feeling persists consecutively, you should be alarmed that something is wrong. And guess what? This may suggest the initial phases of an eating disorder. Do you know why this happens? Vitamin B1 is a significant nutrient for managing your feelings related to hunger and fullness. So, in the case of inadequate thiamine reserves, your body starts facing disruptions in its functions and starts sending the wrong signals to your brain, indicating that you're already full and there's no room for another meal. As a result, you eat less or at times nothing and further fall short of this nutrient. A study was conducted on rats to establish these claims, which recorded them on vitamin B1 deficient diets. By day 22, the food intake dropped by almost 75%. On the other hand, they returned to their usual food intake once thiamine was added back to their diets. Number 2. Do you feel worked up all the time? Sometimes starting hours of your day are often characterized by brimming energy and radiance. But wait. What if that energy is not showing up anymore? From the moment you're opening your eyes to bidding good night, you're fatigued all the time. Why? A thiamine deficiency. Studies have shown that fatigue is one of the early signs of a thiamine deficiency. And guess what? Feeling worked up and tired may start within the first few weeks of this issue. So consider it as a directly proportional relationship wherein, as vitamin B1 sees a drop in your diet, you become more drained and exhausted. And why does this happen? Given the role of thiamine in converting food into energy, not having enough would mean that your body can no longer provide the fuel it needs, leaving you exhausted. Because of this, some researchers suggest prioritizing this symptom when identifying if you have or are at risk of deficiency. Number 3. What about the pins and needles sensation that you often feel? The most evident clinical sign of thiamine deficiencies are related to the nervous system. Specifically, the sensory system. The temperature sensation gets altered. It starts with mild pain and builds up as a numb or tingling sensation that gradually expands. This is medically termed paresthesia. You'll feel vibrations running through your limbs, and it seems as if an ant colony has suddenly decided to practice a surprise field march on your body. In layman's terms, we often call it pins and needles. And why does that tingling happen? Studies suggest that vitamin B1 is responsible for regulating the functions of those nerves that reach your arms and legs. Since it's no longer available in the case of deficiency, paresthesia manifests itself. Guess what? It turns out that this sensation is a symptom of severe beriberi 2. And what is beriberi? It's a disease caused by thiamine deficiency, which is capable of causing extreme damage to your brain and your heart. Number 4. Blurred vision can be another symptom. If the world has seemingly gone blurred to you, then you have a thiamine deficiency. However, this symptom is quite rare. The reason behind its occurrence is, again, nerve damage. The only difference is that this time it's an optic nerve. Due to vitamin B1 insufficiency, your optic nerve swells up and malfunctions. If left untreated, this may even cause vision loss. And I'm sure that you don't want to end up that way, so how can you avoid it? Well, it's simple. Replenish your vitamin B1 reserves by having a nutrient-rich diet. The results of an animal study concluded that a thiamine-rich diet effectively prevented induced optical nerve damage. Other studies have also found vitamin B1 supplementation to help correct this deficiency and improve vision in affected individuals. Number 5. What about nausea and vomiting? 
even though nausea and vomiting are common to other conditions, their significance cannot be overlooked. They're primary signs of a mild thiamine deficiency. Vague abdominal issues and constipation often accompany them. Vitamin B1 deficiency induces Wernick's encephalopathy, an acute neurological disorder infamous for having many gastrointestinal issues associated with it, of which these two are the most prominent. These issues relate to nerve damage, delayed emptying of your stomach, and a dilated colon, causing severe troubles with basic functioning of your gastrointestinal system. Number 6. Does your mind feel cluttered and messy these days? Severe thiamine deficiency may lead to the development of Wernick-Korsakoff syndrome, which causes brain damage. Suppose you just returned from the office and have to head to the grocery store for some shopping. But hold. You need help remembering the whereabouts of your car keys. It's just been 15 minutes and the memory's already slipped away from your mind. And this is not the only time you forgot something basic. You've been noticing such forgetful patterns over time, and you cannot think clearly. Confusion withholds you more often than ever. Brain abnormalities due to vitamin B1 deficiency are more prominent in those with alcohol binging histories. Overconsumption of alcohol can cause the accumulation of extra carbohydrates in your body, further increasing the thiamine requirements. After all, your body needs to maintain an adequate proportion of everything. Over time, long-lasting thiamine deficiency can also lead to the development of delirium, an abrupt change in the mental state of an individual. So yes, you can go from quiet and withdrawn to agitated and anxious. Or you could be restless. Random waves of paranoia may engulf you and leave you imagining unexpected scenarios. Number 7. Are you constantly facing cardiovascular troubles? If yes, then vitamin B1 deficiency can be one of the contributing factors. Wet beriberi is associated with extreme heart abnormalities, which can even result in death. Thiamine insufficiency triggers the heart to pump more blood and beat faster. Blood vessels tend to dilate, pressure drops, heart size increases, heart sounds intensify, and when it's no longer able to sustain, stops functioning, culminating in heart failure. The state in which the thiamine-deficient patient develops acute heart failure has been termed shoshin, which means sudden collapse in Japanese. Studies have shown that people with severe beriberi report dizziness, low blood pressure, and an enlarged heart to the right and are at an increased risk of dying due to heart failure following exertion. You should not ignore these symptoms if you've recently started experiencing palpitations or rapid heartbeat, weakness, and shortness of breath. Number 8. And last but not least, we have muscle weakness on our list. As we said earlier, thiamine deficiency's strikingly evident signs mainly relate to the nervous system. Well, there is another symptom that justifies this statement, and that's fragile muscles. The nerve damage in the motor system causes muscle atrophy, which is thinning or loss of muscle tissue. Usually, this begins at the toes and fingertips and ascends progressively throughout the body as the depletion of vitamin B1 reserves worsen. Due to the atrophy of leg muscles, the affected individual cannot rise from a squatting position without assistance. Loss of ankle or knee jerks, painful calf muscles, and difficulty lifting the foot or wrist may develop over time. Extreme cases of thiamine deficiency can also lead to more difficulty in walking and might result in partial or complete paralysis of the body. As they say, prevention is better than a cure. It would be sensible to eat a thiamine-rich diet to avoid any health repercussions. Ideally, the average adult should consume 1.2 milligrams of vitamin B1 in their regular diet. You can do this by adding good sources of vitamin B1 to your diet, such as fortified cereals, pork, fish, beans and lentils, green peas, and yogurt. You can try commercial dietary supplements or medications if you can't meet your daily requirement through quality food sources. If you notice one or more signs or symptoms and you think you may be vitamin B1 deficient, consult your doctor or meet with a dietitian to help improve your vitamin B2 intake. Are you looking to learn more about nutrient deficiencies? We got you covered. Why not watch 15 Signs You Have a Vitamin B12 Deficiency or 9 Early Warning Signs of a Vitamin Deficiency? Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn how nutrient deficiencies can affect your health. Did any warning signs stand out to you? Let us know in the comments below.